We are on episode 6 of The Rings of Power, and for a show based on such fantastic material, this series is a slugfest. Barely anything interesting goes on, the character building is bad, and only the newest episode has anything memorable that happened, but of course that doesn't mean it was memorable for the right reasons, and the show is getting roasted for the fighting scenes that occurred in the episode because of how mediocre they were and how tired this series feels. I have a bunch of things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted, and of course if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So there have been a lot of tweets that have gone up and a lot of articles that have been released from like Forbes and BGR just roasting the show all around. So I want to start with this article. It says the Rings of Power is abusing fast travel even worse than Game of Thrones. This is an article on Forbes by Eric Kane. Eric Kane is someone who I actually like. Um, while yes, they do obviously post articles to Forbes. They don't really uh, agree with what Hollywood is doing to entertainment right now. So it says spoilers, obviously. In episode 6 of The Rings of Power, Galadriel casts a magic spell, teleportation. She transports the Numenorean army around 2,000 miles in a day or two. Either that or everything in these timelines is occurring at wildly different speeds. Either way, it's confusing and makes The Rings of Power feel cheap, rushed, and all over the map, literally. This was a giant problem for me when I was watching this episode because, yes, on one hand, we don't want to watch their whole entire journey if it's just going to be boring, boring, boring. But at the same time, they didn't establish that Galadriel and the Numenorians, you know, story was going on a bit before everyone else's. It just kind of felt very rushed and cheap. I do have to agree with that. Speaking of maps, here's one that Amazon released to show how different the Second Age is from the Third Age that we're accustomed to, and it includes Numenor as well as Middle-earth. Apparently, a copy was not sent to the writer's room. It's not like this is a very short journey from Numenor to Middle-earth and then, you know, from the coast of Middle-earth to deep in the Southlands. It's not like that is just a couple of hours for a journey. That is days and days. That is thousands of miles. I just don't understand why they thought it would come across well to see such a massive time jump. We all knew that the Numenorians were going to save uh, Bronwyn and Aaron Deer's group as soon as, you know, the orcs came in and they were worried about defeating the orcs. We knew that that was going to happen from basically the beginning of the episode. We didn't know how it was going to happen because there's such a massive time difference here. Um, but magically, they show up to save them, which... I get it, they need to happen to progress the story, but they didn't establish the time frames going on here and just how, you know, long the journey would have been for the Numenorians. It says, in any case, they arrived just in the nick of time to save Erendir, Bronwyn, and the peasant army from Adar and his orcs. They cross this enormous distance and find the exact location of the village that's being assaulted on the very morning of the battle in quite literally moments before our heroes are killed by the bad guys. This is the problem with crunching the timelines, not just down in terms of reducing the Second Age to one storyline, but in ignoring time and space altogether. Either our sense of time is very off and things in the Southlands are taking place at a very different pace than the events in Numenor, or the writers are simply ignoring the distance between places and gee whiz, I wonder which answer uh, is correct here. Clearly, it, we don't want to blame the writers for being terrible at their jobs, guys. <laughs> it says, unfortunately, the structure of the show leads us to believe that everything is happening at about the same time, even if that's not the case. So while Galadriel is browbeating her hosts across the sea, Bronwyn is rallying her peasants to war. As the three ships set sail, Arendir and the villagers are setting up and executing their trap. The next night, the orcs attack the village. Yeah, I unfortunately think that this episode was very terribly 
laid out. I think that it was just messy, it was rushed, and it made the show uh, feel very cheap. It kind of felt like a CW episode of a show. Now, I will admit the last five or so minutes of the show is pretty cool. You actually see some stunning visuals. I, I know, I'm shocked, right? Um, I do think that they gave us a couple of good shots, like, of course, Mount Doom erupting. That was a really cool shot leading up to that moment. Galadriel standing in front of this cloud of, you know, dust and fire and lightning. It does, you know, look very nice, but that doesn't really make up for all of the issues with the rest of the episode and the show in general. I have said from the very start that this show is visually very pretty. At least they've put the budget into, you know, the CGI and the scenery. I think that it looks good, but the problem is the writing, the acting, the dialogue, the interactions. It all is just terrible, except for the CGI. And of course, it's not just journalists that are calling out these mistakes and roasting this show because a lot of people have taken to social media to uh, rant about this newest episode. It really is incredible how bad Rings of Power is. Like, not only is it boring, ugly, and uneventful, repetitive, and flat, it also seems to actively go out of its way to avoid becoming interesting or telling you anything about its characters. I didn't think I would see anything as bad as The Last Jedi, but then the Rings of Power happened. This next post brings up a giant issue that I had with this episode because, of course, by the end of it, we see Mount Doom erupting. We see this giant cloud of smoke and fire and lightning coming towards Galadriel and the Southerners. But to get to that point, we had the chase scene in the force between uh, Galadriel and Adar and... Galadriel just takes the bunch of fabric that's supposed to be holding the sword and throughout the whole, you know, time she's talking to him, she's bringing him back to the village, she's, you know, trying to get some kind of answers out of him, she never ever checks the sword to make sure it's actually what they're looking for. And that frustrated me so much because I had a feeling he was trying to distract her, that he was trying to buy someone time or he was going to leave the real sword somewhere during that horse chase. There was going to be some kind of twist and by the end of the episode, obviously, we saw it. That was such a massive issue for me. She's supposed to be in this show, the commander of the Northern Army. She's supposed to be smart. She's supposed to be bold. She's She's supposed to think ahead and she didn't even check the weapon made zero sense was a very dumb part of the episode of course though classic amazon writers just watch the latest rings of power episode and they simply must get off the guy ladriel is the main story it's so cringe and forced her character alone has killed this show they wrote her so bad Holy shit, I am disappointed with the changes they have made to Galadriel and this whole side romance that is going on with Halbrand. It feels very forced, very unnatural. I'm just very disappointed in this show altogether from the writing to the dialogue to the characters. There's nothing in this show that I'm going, oh my god, this is perfect about. I do hope that the show gets better as the episodes go on, but I highly doubt that is going to happen. But that's all that I really had to talk about in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.